What's up everybody? It's your favorite Shin Guard's favorite nerd and today we are looking at an upgrade kit provided by a buddy of mine. I'm not sure what information he wants out there regarding his name or whatever so we're just gonna leave it at a buddy and all the contact information will be in the description for you to use. But basically these are, it's an alternate face for um, DX9's Menasaur and then two shin guards that you can put on the front of them for, to put the, the cars on the front of the legs and adapters so that they can go either right side up or upside down on his legs depending on your personal preference. So we're gonna go through all of them. We're gonna talk about them as we go through them. We're gonna show how it works, have some final thoughts and kind of move on with our day. You know, I love fan made stuff so I'm not sure how critical I'll be as long as it works, right? So let's get started. So we'll start with the face. He's given an alternate face. It's pretty much the same face sculpt. Um, it is 3D printed. He did a really good job on the printer. I don't know if he sanded this himself or what he did, but it's really smooth. It doesn't have like any of those kind of, you know, typical line works that you see, or maybe he put it on a super slow setting. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks fantastic. So we're gonna remove three screws. Boom, boom, and boom. And there's the new face. And I think it looks good. I'm happy with it. I'm going to swap it out. I think it works. I think it's tied better. The grays match up pretty well. So, yeah, I'm good with this. Now, this was the real big issue for me. Now, I know it's cartoon accurate or whatever. Even though I think maybe there's an episode or so where they had it. It doesn't matter. I know when people envision Minnesota, they envision it this way. That being said, it looks really plain to me. And I really want some spice. So, I like the idea of being able to put the cars on. So, let's go ahead and do that. For the legs, it does take a little bit of transformation. So, we're going to unfold these front panels here. clear this foot so that we have the purple stripe and those two holes so to speak and then basically what you want to do is take your shin guard uh, for the cars facing I want them to face down so you're gonna need one and two which are your adapter pieces here and then they're obviously carved out where they go. So one, right, and two. They'll peg in, you can actually peg this one in straight afterwards, to be honest. But they, it's just hard to do with the camera here, so. They'll peg in here. And there. And then we'll take off. Break down, which I probably should have done beforehand. This peg on breakdown still goes into that hole there. And this still pegs into the top. Uh, it came undone. I'll clean it up, but like there's one done. And then it's the same thing on this side. You had to open up the flaps, tuck this one in and against, get that toe out of the way so that you can get that one out. You're left with the same two peg system. Once again, use adapters one and two if you want it to go that way um i'm gonna try to move the camera out of the way a little bit because it's just it's just hard to do but um they sit up a fair bit from the uh over top of the knee which is at first a little unsettling but the truth is is that you need it in order to allow space for the vehicle. So then once you have that in position, you just take Wild Rider, peg him into here, and these two squares will fit up inside of this cavity. And it works like a champ. So let's take a look at that. 
so there it is with the cars down and it's just like you know I'm not, it's not gonna be for everybody but like i just needed to look a little bit more interesting i, I spent close to 100 dollars on both of those i want to see them they're painted beautifully i want to see them now i don't want them facing down i want them facing up but there's what it looks like in the down option to use the other option it's the same exact thing except this time we're going to take off our adapters one I don't know what you can see. I don't know what my shoulder is or sleeve is blocking. We're going to take off adapters one and two, and we're going to add on adapters three and four. And in my opinion, this is going to be an even better fit, but works the same way, except now they're facing up. And once again, it's just a little hard to do on camera. Same thing except now we're gonna do it upside down. And tab in our blue part up top. And yeah, like a glove. So now we're gonna do the same thing with Wild Rider. Take him down. Get rid of adapters one and two. Add in adapters three and four. I'll try my best once again to do this on camera, but no promises. Every time I try to make a shortcut. So you would think I'd learn my lesson. And H4. There. Once again, we're using the same hole here and then these two squares with those two squares there. God bless, it just snaps right in. And I love it. And then there it is with that option so that you can see it there. And like, I, this is what I want. Um, I know it's not what everybody else wants necessarily because of the cartoon, what have you. I get it, it's what I want. I appreciate him having the option to facilitate it. So yeah, I'm into it, heavy, heavy and on. And there it is back on my shelf. And yeah, I don't have any issue with that. I'm very happy with that, as a matter of fact. I like the cars in the front, I like seeing them. It makes a big difference for me. That's all I can tell you. Forgive the lack of dynamic pose. I'm just going to get this guy on a shelf that you've already seen at this point. I haven't had him on a shelf since we did the comparison with the X trans bots because I knew this was coming. So I was like, oh, I might as well just keep him down for that. So I'm anxious to get him back to his rightful home. It's been too long. But I appreciate Sean doing this as an undertaking. It provides the option. I like it because you get to see all the figures you bought. I like it because it does away with the plain gray parts in the front that I never cared for. I like it because it gives you the options as to which way you want to do the cars. I like I like it because you can finally see his eyes. I like it because both cars seem super stable. I like it because the side panels on the calves beef out the calves even more. So I don't really have anything negative to say about it. You can nitpick it to death. I'm not sure how he's offering it, but all of his contact information will be in the description of this video. If you are interested, tell him Scully sent you and hit him up. Thanks to him and thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Until next time, take care. I think I did that backwards, but it's been a long time.